Hi everyone. Today's lesson is 14.3 and we're going to be repeating shapes within a pattern. By the end of this lesson you will be able to use a rule to predict a number or shape in a pattern. We're going to start with a solve and share and remember we always like to use this as a get the goof so I'm going to intentionally tell you something that is incorrect and you have to try and figure out what that statement might be, what my mistake is going to be. The rule for the repeating pattern given is square triangle. What will be the 37th shape in the pattern? Explain. Solve this problem any way you choose. And there is also a math tip. You can construct arguments to convince a classmate your answer is correct. The reason the construct argument words are in red is because that is a math practice. If you are able to construct an argument and convince your classmate that your answer is correct, that means you have a pretty good understanding of the problem. If you aren't able to construct an argument, go back and take a second look. See if there's another way that you could do this problem. Go ahead, pause this video, and then come back to check your answer. Okay. Are you ready? So I have square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle. You could have drawn all of the shapes up until the 37th place and found that a square is the correct answer. And you could also have just looked at this pattern and thought of a pattern feature that they haven't told you. One, three, and five are all squares. 2, 4, and 6 are all triangles. Since this number is odd, I'm looking at the odd numbers 2, 4, and 6. Did you catch my mistake? The odd numbers are not 2, 4, 6. The odd numbers are 1, 3, and 5. And since these odd numbers are all squares and this is an odd number, I know that a square is going to be in the 37th place. Kiss your brain and wonderful job. If you need more help, let's take a look at another problem. You can watch the visual learning on your own at home. I'm going to skip to convince me. Suppose the rule is square, triangle, square, trapezoid in a repeating pattern. What is the 26th shape in the pattern? Describe features of the repeating pattern. Be precise in your description. If you are precise, that means you can tell everyone your details, like every step that you took to figure out what the answer to this problem is. So square, triangle, square, trapezoid, square, triangle, square, trapezoid. And then I'm going to name their places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now before I teach you something else, you can look at the pattern features and see if you notice any patterns. So all of the squares are 1, 3, 5, 7. That's just like the last time when the squares were all in the odd position. But are the even ones all the same? 2 is a triangle, 4 is a trapezoid, 6 is a triangle, 8 is a trapezoid. No. But there is something that I can say. 4 and 8 are both multiples of 4. So I know that if it's a multiple of 4, it's going to be a trapezoid. So is 26 a multiple of 4? No. So let's see if we can try and find out what this 26 place is. Now if you watch the visual learning, you will know that you can take the place, 26, and divide it by the number of shapes in this pattern. Since there's square, triangle, square, trapezoid, I know there are four shapes. So 26 divided by 4 is going to give me 6, because 6 times 4 is 24, 
with a remainder of two. So six groups, I know this number tells me how many groups of the pattern can be formed evenly. There are six groups of this pattern formed. So that means that the 24th place is going to be a trapezoid. And that's a multiple of four, so it fits with our rule of four and eight. We know trapezoids are multiples of four. Then I have two left over. That means I need to count two more in this pattern. So if I ended with a trapezoid, I'm going to count two more. One, two. So that would be a square and then a triangle. So this 26th place is going to be a triangle. Let's move on to see another example. Write the next three numbers in the repeating pattern. Then name the 100th pattern, the 100th number in the pattern. So the rule is one, three, five, seven. You have four numbers in this pattern. So if you keep repeating it, one, three, five will be the next three. There are four items in the repeating pattern. To find the 100th number, put 100 divided by four, then you will get 25. The pattern repeats 25 times. So remember this number here is going to be how many groups of the pattern you have. So we have 25 groups of four numbers. The 100th number is going to be seven. Since it's even, if you get an even number here with no remainders, your answer is always going to be the last number in the pattern. This is seven. So number one for do you understand is in the triangle square trapezoid example on the previous page, what will be the 48th shape? What will be the 50th shape? Explain your answer. Pause the video, work it out, and then come back to check your answer. Okay, so you have triangle square trapezoid, and you need to know the 48th shape. So we're going to do 48 divided by 3. That gives me 16 evenly, no remainders. So I know that the last number, the 48th number, is going to be the trapezoid. Now I know that 50 is two more than 48. So I'm just gonna count two more shapes for my pattern. So 48 would be a trapezoid, then I would start over with a triangle, and then I would have a square. So your 48th shape is a trapezoid, your 49th shape is a triangle, and your 50th shape is a square. Number two, what is the 20th shape? The rule is triangle, circle, circle. Try out this number and then come back to check your answer. Okay, so you should have done 20. This one might have been a little bit tricky. 20 divided by, did you choose two or three? You should have chosen three because even though there are two shapes that you can see, there's triangle and circle, the circle repeats twice. So it's triangle, circle, circle, triangle, circle, circle. So I do 20, the, the place that I want to find out, the position, 20, divided by how many are in the pattern. So 20 divided by three. And I know that six times three is 18. And if I did six times or seven times three, that would go over and I'd have more than 20. So 20 minus 18 is two. So I have six remainder two. I know that I have six groups of triangle, circle, circle. So the 18th position is going to be a circle, but I have two more. So I need to go back to my pattern and count two more in this pattern. If I ended on 18 with a circle, 19 would be a triangle, and then 20 would be a circle. Okay. Number three, write the next three numbers. The rule is nine, two, seven, six. 
9276. 9276. So my next one would be 9, 2, 7. Okay. Now you can try independent practice on your own at home. You also have an independent practice buddy that you can check your answers online. I'm going to go ahead and do one of these problem solving problems with you so you can see it in a word problem. Let's take a peek at the higher order thinking question. Marcus is using shapes to make a repeating pattern. He has twice as many circles as squares. Make a repeating pattern that follows this rule. So I want you to pause this video, try this pattern out, and then come back to check your answer. Were you able to make a pattern that had twice as many circles as squares? Your pattern should have in it one square to two circles. Because if I have twice as many circles as squares, I need to be able to say one times two is two. If I have two squares in my pattern, how many circles should I have? For each square, I need to have two circles in my pattern. So I have one square, two circles, one square, two circles. So in this pattern, I have one square, two circles. But if I have two squares, I have to have four circles. Always doing times two. So you could have made a circle, square, circle pattern. You could do square, circle, circle. You could do circle, circle, square. If you chose one of those patterns, you are correct. You could even be more advanced and make a very big pattern as long as you can times the number of squares times two and get that many circles. Okay, I'm going to sign off here. Remember, you have your independent practice buddy to help you. And don't forget to submit your quick check. Have a great day.